Hi, I'm Tom Herbert, and I've got a best of British dish with a Kentucky kick for you. It's my bourbon bread and butter pudding, and this is how you make it. First, we're going to make our boozy raisins. So you boil together a cinnamon stick, star anise, two tablespoons of sugar, some orange peel, two tablespoons of water. You just boil it all together. And I'm gonna add to this some more bourbon. And by adding the bourbon now, it won't burn off all the alcohol and all those delicious flavors. So now you have your syrup. You need to weigh a third of a cup of raisins into the jar and then top it up with bourbon. To get them plump, you need to leave them for at least two hours, but it's really great if you can leave them overnight. I came in last night and I made a big jar of them and I left them soaking. <laughs> you can get drunk right on these. It wouldn't be a good idea. Now we have to make the custard. You need to weigh three eggs. Separate three egg yolks out so you can keep the whites for something else. Put them into a large bowl. Equal parts milk and heavy cream. Now you add in the sugar, a pinch of salt to bring out the flavor, the seeds from a stick of vanilla. So if I split it open and just scrape them out, easy as that. And you mix it all together, that's your custard. But of course, if you like your custard boozy, you could add in more bourbon or a little bit of that sweet syrup. You take a nine by nine baking pan, great handful of those boozy raisins and sprinkle them all in. You wanna be generous. On with the custard. Creamy, golden, slightly boozy and delicious. So now for the bread bit. You want a good soft country loaf. Cut that into barn door sized thick pieces and you want to lay them out so it fills your nine by nine dish. If you want this to be a really traditional bread and butter pudding, you could slather both sides of the bread with lovely butter before putting the bread in the dish. While that's soaking up, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Slide it in really carefully and give it 30 minutes until your custard is set. It should have a little wobble like a cowboy on a fishing boat. I don't know, cowboy on a fishing boat? I was trying to think of a wobble. Okay, now you need to get a good handful of sugar and sprinkle it all on top. And with a blowtorch, melt that butter until you've got a delicious crusty top. You don't want to burn it, you want to caramelize that topping. If you don't have a blowtorch, you can stick it under the broiler, just don't burn it. To top it all off, you're gonna make a bourbon whipped cream. You need a really cold bowl, some confectioner's sugar, heavy cream, and of course, another slug of bourbon. Now, what you want to do is give that really good whisk. Wave goodbye to the bingo wings, that's what we call them back home. But if you're not up to that, get an electric mixer, and whiz that thing together until it's light and fluffy. So this is how to finish it. You want to cut yourself a portion just as big as you please. Put it on a plate. I made some candy. Now this is just sugar and water melted together. Snaps really easy. Just Break some of that off and jab it in the top. You want to get some of those boozy raisins and drizzle them around the outside and your bourbon whipped cream on top. And one more. Ta-da! Hope you enjoy my bourbon bread and butter pudding.